this video we're making a simple sliding knot bracelet. This design has a little bead in the centre here and that's held in place by a barrel knot on each side. Then we've got a sliding barrel knot on each side of the bracelet as well so that we can adjust our bracelet bigger and smaller. Today I'm using a square glass bead with a hole that's big enough to fit onto our thread which is a 1mm satin nylon cord. We start by placing our bead onto the thread and we want it right in the middle. So just placing those ends together and following it back down to the other end. Then we want to try and hold that bead right in the middle. Now I'm holding it so that the end of my left index finger comes out past the bead. Then with our right hand, we bring this cord around our finger two times to make two full loops. Then we gently take these loops off our finger. And with this tail end, we're going to poke it down both loops from the left hand side. Pulling it out the right hand side and then gently pulling our knot down nice and tight and tidy. Now we can pull that bead up against the knot and we're going to swap our bracelet onto the opposite side and do the same thing again. So holding it with the end of our left index finger coming out just past the bead, then we're going to wrap this right side cord around our finger two times to make two full loops around. Then we can gently remove the loops from our finger then with the end of our cord here, we're going to place it down our two loops, pulling it out the right hand side. Now this side we need to be really quite gentle with our knot because we want it to sit right up close next to that bead and help hold it in place. Gently working your cords so that that knot sits nice and tight and right next to that bead. You want your bead held nice and secure in between the two barrel knots there with not much movement and that's going to be the centre of your bracelet. Now you want to just check and make sure both your cords are even. So I just grab onto that bead and pull the cords tight to the other end and then cut that longer tail off so that they're nice even threads on both sides. Now it's on to the sliding barrel knots. So we want to lay our bracelet down on something flat and we've got these cords overlapping with this left side cord on the top. Now we gently pick our bracelet up and hold it so that this left side cord is at the back. Now we bring this tail over the front, down and out the back to create our first loop there. Gently holding that loop and then we bring this thread again over the front, down and out the back for our second loop. And then again over the front, down and out the back for a third loop as well. Now you should have your three little loops here and then your tail end. So we're going to gently bring this little end around and poke it down all three loops, pulling it out the right hand side and then gently pulling our knot down nice and tight and tidy. So that should be your first sliding barrel knot there and it should slide along the other thread. If you're happy with it, then we're going to swap our bracelet onto the opposite side Again holding it with our left side cord at the back. Then we bring this thread over the front, down and out the back to create our first loop there. Holding onto that gently and then again bringing our thread over the front, down and out the back for our second loop. And then again for a third loop as well. So you should have your three little loops here and then your end piece. So we're gently going to bring that end piece around, poking it down all three loops and pulling it out the right hand side. Now you want to try and pull this knot down nice and even with the knot on the other side. So just working it down slowly 
You can always untie and retie these knots if you're not happy with them. But if you are, then you can pull them nice and tight. You want to check that they're all sliding okay and sitting in the position that you want them in. If you're happy with your bracelet, then you can go ahead and cut these little tails off. I normally leave about a centimetre on the outside of the knot on each side and then singe them with a the lighter as well so they don't fray. 